In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can use our calculator to quickly solve polynomial roots in the exam. Now, uh, finding polynomial roots is very common, especially in chapters like analytical geometry and matrix algebra. And you will see that it's used in most other chapters as well in, in this paper. So, uh, while most of you might already be aware of this, we are also going to look at a special case in which uh, how repeating roots can be found out using calculator and simple tricks. So, uh, in the menu option of the calculator, go to equation slash function mode and there press 2 for polynomial. Now, it will ask you polynomial of a degree. So, this calculator can solve polynomials from degree 2 to 4. So, let's say our degree is 3. So, and now I am going to write my coefficients. So, let's solve the first one. So, we have 1, minus 6, 11, minus 6. And then straight away give us the roots as 1, 3, and 2. So, x is equal to 1, 3, 2 is our answer. Now, let's look at the repeating roots type. So, I am going to type again. So, let's try the first one here. So, we have uh, 1, minus 5, 7, minus 3, and that gives us 3 and 1. Now, it will give you x is equal to 3 and 1, but it will not tell you which root is repeating. So, how do we solve this? Now, if you remember, in, from our school days, we have learned that uh, in, an, in any equation, uh, sum of roots is minus b by a, product of roots taken two at a time is c by a, minus d by a, so on, so on. So, uh, I'll just write that what I mean here, uh, is that, suppose we have a two degree equation, ax squared plus bx plus c, then is equal to zero, then product of roots, say x1 into x2 is, will be equal to c by a. In a 3 degree equation, ax square plus bx plus c plus c cube square cx plus d is equal to 0, x1, x2, x3 will be minus d by a. Similarly, in a 4 degree equation, ax power 4 plus bx cube plus cx square plus dx plus e equals to 0. That is going to be x1, x2, x3, x4 is equal to e by a. So, this is how it works. So, here we see that product of roots is what? Minus d by a. So, product of roots is, is 3, into 3 by 1. So, 3. That means the repeating root is going to be 1 because 3 into 1 into 1 will be 3. 3 into 3 into 1 will not be 3. So, product of roots is 3. So, the, repeat, so the roots are x is equal to 1, 1, 3. Let's try the next one. So, we have 1 minus 5 minus 25, 125. Which gives us minus 5, 5, minus 5 and 5. So, x is equal to minus 5 comma 5. Now, we have to see which root is repeating. So, again, product of roots is minus d by a. So, that is minus 1, 2, 5. Hence, the repeating root is minus 5. Let's try the next one. 1 minus 15, then 75 minus 125. Now it gives us x is equal to 5, right? So 5 only. So that means that means product of roots is, I mean, we don't need to leave the product of roots here. It only gave us one value, so x is equal to 5 comma 5 comma 5. So here we have again easily calculated the values. 
Now, if the roots are complex, any of the roots are complex, those will also be provided by the calculator, so we don't have to worry about it. So, uh, this is how we can easily solve for polynomial roots in our answers. Thank you.